Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton. Take a look at a brand new 2023 Chevrolet Trailblazer. This is the active all-wheel drive trim. So let's see what this brings to the table in this subcompact SUV market and let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Trailblazer active nitro yellow metallic is the color looking really good especially with the black grill with that chevy bow tie in the middle led headlights led daytime running lamps led fog lamps standard bulbs for turn signals and on the bottom of that front grill we have black chrome in between those two fog lamps looking really awesome on the front end of this trailblazer all right the wheel and tire setup on this trailblazer active we have a 17 inch wheel gloss black silver accent chevy bow tie in the middle standard brake and rotor package these wheels are wrapped in hankook dynapro all-terrain two tires 225 on the width a 60 series sidewall 17s all four corners all-wheel drive full side profile on this trailblazer active and it is a nice small subcompact two-row suv it's got really good hard body lines on the upper doors going through the back door and some lower body door body lines going into the wheel well we got a lot of black flat black around the wheel wells and on the door sill area but this is the off-road trim for the trailblazer and so that is to be expected because it was certainly with those all-terrain tires but it really looks nice we got the white roof and the white side view mirrors let me know how you feel about this yellow black and white roof option or whether we should just have all black on the roof let me know what you think in the comments as we come in as you can see this flat black is fairly wide on the wheel wells let me know how you feel about that we are white and gloss black on the side view mirror color match on the front and rear door handle fuel filler cap is on the left side of the vehicle then up top we got the white roof with the old-fashioned antenna that's too old you need to give me a shark fin flat black on the roof rails and then a nice large panoramic roof all right rear end of this trailblazer again the roof spoiler coming off the top windshield wiper on the lower part of the glass the chevy bow tie right in the middle trailblazer all-wheel drive on the left side of the tailgate active on the right side of the tailgate led taillights led brake lights standard bulbs for turn signals more black chrome around the dual exhaust and on the rear diffuser looking really good with that black chrome that was a nice styling ad by chevy let me know what you think under the hood of this 2023 trailblazer what are we looking at for a power plant we have a 1.3 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder engine mated to a nine speed automatic transmission 155 horsepower 174 pound-feet of torque mpgs 26 in the city 30 on the highway 28 combined the engine's minimum octane rating is 87 so you can run this on regular unleaded gas all right before we get into the interior of this trailblazer you're going to want to know mike how much does this beautiful nitro yellow metallic trailblazer cost well MSRP, the way this one is optioned, $33,820. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. All season mats are in the car. Carpeted ones are in the tailgate area. We have power seats for the driver with lumbar, but manual assist for the front passenger. And then we get up here, we have leatherette, black leatherette with the stitching nice plain design but very handsome in the way it's designed nice bolstering nice looking interior door panel action nice soft touch up top and i like that bronze touch on the trim rather than gloss black looks good we have a chrome door handle we are fairly hard on the door armrest with flat black on the switch gear on the dash again soft touch with some more of uh, soft touch and then some stitching a nice little area here for storage some gloss black and then underneath that we have a nice large glove box all right infotainment system time we have a nice integrated gm or chevrolet eight inch infotainment system 
wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, no nav, all the nav will be coming through your phone in this system, but swipeability, very good. All your apps are right there, Bluetooth your phone, Wi-Fi hotspot, down below you can access your music phone, you can access your settings. So it's a very, very easy to use system and, and I think it's fine. You know, you have your Apple CarPlay Android Auto Wireless, run your, your CarPlay or Android Auto on the screen, get your nav through your phone, piece of cake, easy peasy, one, two, three. We look at the backup camera, nice backup camera with trajectory. GM's backup cameras are some of the best in the business and this one's no different. Very nicely done. On the way down here we have volume button and then we have some hard controls for your music and for your home button. And then on the way down further you have a single zone climate control which is fine. We have three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Down further we have if I can get, there we go. We have an SD card, USB-C, USB-A, aux check, and a 12 volt. And then down on, and down down here, we do have a wireless charging pad. So they got you covered there. This is the gear shift that's going to take you through this nine-speed auto. And then we have two cup holders and our Chevrolet key fob right here. Lock, unlock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button. Chevy bow tie on the back. Nice weight. And then we have another storage area back here with our emergency brake. And then a fairly hard armrest. Open that up. And we have a small storage area. Chevrolet steering wheel. Nice leatherette wrap steering wheel. Nice 10 and 2 notches. Chevy bow tie in the middle of the horn button. Some aluminum trim down below flat black on the switch gear. We have our heated steering wheel right here and then we have our controls for our cruise and then over here telephone voice commands and the controls for the digital portion of our dash. Up on the stocks you have your adaptive high beams right there and then your headlights and on the right front and rear wiper. This is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Over here we can brighten dim the dash, adjust our headlights, and turn our fog lamps on or off. And then down on the door, this is where you can open the tailgate and pop the hood way down there. Dashboard time. We have a, a uh, combination of analog gauges and a small four inch digital display. Analog gauges for the speedometer and tachometer. But we have a digital readout for the fuel level and coolant temperature. And then we have that small four inch display in the center where you can go through different information that you would like. And then there's some menus inside of each one of these. So it's a nice, easy to read setup in this Trailblazer. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Overhead console. Dome lighting is non-LED in the active. This button must be left in the center, so when you open the door, your lighting will come on. When you close the door, your lighting will dim out. And then we have our SOS button, our OnStar button. Here are the buttons to control your shade and your glass. So you touch it, and the shade moves back all the way in one shot. So that's nice, no halfway back and stopping. And then the other button, press it down and hold it in, and then your sunroof opens with your wind buffeter up here. Close it up, again it's one touch back, and it closes, and one touch back for the shade. And it's pretty fast, so it's a nice operating roof. Visor, sun visor, with vanity and lighting. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Block up the side sun. Nicely done. Getting in the back seat of this Trailblazer, I have the driver's seat set for my driving position. So let's climb on in. Nice. Nice. Plenty of room for my D's. Plenty of room for my head at 5 foot 11. Nice leatherette material all the way down the back. No plastic on the back of the seats, which I like. We have a seat pocket behind each front seat passenger, which is nice. And then down below here, 
way down in the bowels you have a storage area in here then you have a home power source USB A USB C so they got you covered for that back here door panel action same design as the front the only difference is as you can see the front door panel has that bronze trim but when you get to the back door panel it has flat black trim in that same spot I would like to see them continue that bronze trim into the back seats to get that same vibe going so I don't like that let me know what you think about that in the comments back seats same nice leatherette material nice headrests with the stitching and then we have the nice leatherette seats nice and comfortable nice and soft center armrest nice cushy soft two arm uh, cup holders and you're all set but nice and comfortable back here in this trailblazer cargo area in this trailblazer you can pop the trunk from the dash or from your key fob or you can come to the back and right above the license plate area hit the button nice electric assist on the way up in this active trim nice electric assist on the way down with this button here and then we have a good amount of space for storage with the rear seats up here are our carpeted floor mats that I mentioned earlier you open up the floor and you have a nice spare tire with some tools so thank you Chevrolet for that spare a couple of cubbies for some storage extra storage in here we have some tie downs we have some lighting but we don't have a 12 volt in the back of this trailblazer and now get the rear seats down hit the button throw them down other side hit the button throw them down and now you, know, you have a lot more room for those larger items so for a really small subcompact SUV it is bringing some pretty good storage base space I mean in the back of this trailblazer active all-wheel drive all right here is the window sticker for this 2023 trailblazer all-wheel drive active trim so feel free to pause the video zoom in check out everything that's optioned into this trailblazer and it has a lot of options and now let's take her out for a spin all right we're riding down the road in this trailblazer for 2023 active trim action second highest level of trim that we have here in the trailblazer looking good feeling good great visibility out the front glass side glass rear view mirror no problem i got blind spot monitoring cross traffic alert lane keep assist all that jazz in the trailblazer to keep me safe with the led lights out front and out back a lot of options in this vehicle if i forgot to mention earlier down in the center stack down by the gear shift i have my auto stop start off lane keep assist off traction control off and my all-wheel drive button so this thing is going to rock in two-wheel drive high unless you hit that all-wheel drive button and then it'll switch to all-wheel drive so that's the action on that but really smooth drive this nine speed automatic is as smooth as glass and as it should be and this 1.3 liter turbo 3 gets the car up to speed fairly well I mean it isn't a fast car it's not going to set fires but it's got some pep I would say it's peppy it's a peppy yellow subcompact SUV I think peppy is a good word for it but it's got a, bit, a, a peppy engine and these things are wicked popular so just to give you an example of how popular these things are uh, I made plans to come here two days ago they had five trailblazers they had one RS one LT and two actives plus this one so they had five I got here today they had to take this out of the showroom because they sold all the other ones already so these things are wicked popular and I can really see why <clears throat> because you get you get a, a comfortable ride even though it's a small car so it's gonna ride like a small car but for a small car it's a comfortable ride you get comfortable seats you get a lot of good uh, amenities in here uh, as well as great gas mileage and you also get uh, 
the, the uh, panoramic roof, if I forgot to mention that. Uh, and you get, you get this peppy engine that really gets the car up and moving down the road well. So it has some nice stuff uh, on this Trailblazer, and I can see why they're so popular. And they hold a good amount of stuff. They hold your passengers. You can fit two passengers in the back, and they're comfortable back there. So they're really quite practical. And it's probably Chevrolet's most practical car, I think, considering the price point. Now this one's pretty expensive at almost 34 grand because you can get a Trailblazer for like 24, 25 in the LT trim. Uh, so this one is pretty expensive, but it doesn't keep people from buying them, that's for sure. Uh, and I can see why. Uh, I enjoy driving the LT. And I certainly am enjoying driving this active. And I appreciate the fact the dealer pulled this out of the showroom for me to let me uh, take it for a spin. So that's a nice deal too. Now we're going to come down the road here, get it up to speed, as long as nobody's behind me. And we'll give an emergency stop from about 45 miles an hour, let's say, in 3, 2, 1. Stop nicely, didn't pull, and now we're going to take off, see how this little engine does. Not fast, but a little peppy. Now we hit the curve, body roll, body roll, and now we're back out of the curve and down the road. So this isn't going to set fires. That's for sure. Not going to set fires at all, but it's going to get you to where you need to go. This is this is a vehicle you're going to buy to commute, errands, if you have kids, school, activities, you take on a road trip, you're going to get good gas mileage. So it's not for the sport fiend, maniac driver uh, to hoon around on the back roads on the weekend. That's just not what this is for. But it provides a pretty darn nice drive, good amenities, good space, at a reasonable price. But, as you can see, it gets the vehicle up to speed without a problem. No issues. So, I really can't fault anything in this vehicle, except maybe the design choice on the back door panel. But I really like the fact that you got a really nice setup with your 8-inch integrated infotainment system. You can do your Apple CarPlay Android Auto wireless on both. So you can get your nav through your phone, play your music. You got your climate control action, even though it's only one zone, no big deal. To set the temperature in the car how you like. You got your wireless charging. You got USB-A, USB-C, SD card, 12 volts, connectivity in the back. You have space for your passengers, space for your stuff. Would like to see a 12 volt in the cargo area. But other than that, it's a peppy, fun little trailblazer. And I can see why people like them. Well damped as well. Sidewall tires are soaking up the bumps. Now you got all-terrain tires. So you could probably take this out on like a trail heading out to a campsite. But as far as off-roading in this, nah. That's not going to do it. But certainly taking it off the trail to a campsite or something like that, no problem. Gravel roads, no problem. Serious off-roading, absolutely not. You just don't have the ground clearance. You don't have the skid plates or any of that stuff in here for that. But it makes the all-terrain tires and the wheels make it look cooler. And I think it's going for that aesthetic more than anything else. But a really, really fun little car to drive. I think Chevy has hit the nail on the head with this 2023 Trailblazer line of vehicles. And you have a few trims to choose from. You know, it starts off with your LS trim, then you can go LT. And then you can come up here to the active, or you can go to the top RS trim level. If you want even more stuff on the inside with that RS 
cosmetic package added on. So there's a lot of different ways to uh, to equip and to uh, cosmetically change the looks of your Trailblazer however you would like. So I think that's another good a good thing that Chevy has done with this Trailblazer action. That was, if you just saw that on the dashboard, that light flashing up, that was your pre-collision braking, let me know the guy in front of me is slowing down and to stop before I run into the back of him. That's what that is for. So that's a nice piece of technology in here as well. Now, I wasn't that close, so I think it's probably pretty darn sensitive. But, getting up onto the highway here on Route 1. No issues. And we're up about 70 miles an hour like a big dog, no problem. So, a really attractive car. If you're in the market for that subcompact two-row non-premium SUV, I would definitely put the 2023 Trailblazer in all its trims on your list to test drive before you make a decision on what you should buy. Because I think you'd be surprised about how good this car is once you get in it. Because I'm impressed. This is the second one I've driven. We did the LT a few months ago. Now we got the Active and it's just as good. So hats off to Chevy on this car. I want to wrap it up here. I want to thank Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Chevrolet Trailblazer Active all-wheel drive for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.